Spider-Man publicly unmasked to support the Superhuman Registration Act, making his family targets for his enemies. He believes he is doing what is morally right, but ends up resenting his role in capturing his friends. After a meeting with Captain America, he quickly decides to go rogue and convinces his family to leave Stark Tower for fear of imprisonment. They become fugitives. Peter saves May from an assassin's bullet, but the bullet finds its mark and pierces Mary Jane's heart, instantly ending her life. Meanwhile, the assassin contacts the Kingpin to confirm the successful kill, however his satisfaction is short-lived as a furious Peter confronts him. Grabbing him by the throat, Peter demands to know who ordered the hit. Assassin reveals that it was Kingpin who orchestrated the whole thing. He pulls out a gun, but Peter swiftly disarms him and turns the tables, shooting him instead. Meanwhile, Kingpin contacts the FBI and warns them about a potential assassination attempt on his life. Overwhelmed with grief and anger, Peter places the blame squarely on the Kingpin's shoulders. Peter returns to the motel room and explained to Aunt May what had happened. She tried her best to calm him down. However, his mind was consumed by thoughts of revenge. His status as a fugitive prevented him from attending MJ's funeral, and Kingpin, who was already in prison, would also not face any legal consequences for killing her. Aunt May desperately tried to calm him down, saying, Peter, please don't do this. You're a good man. Spider-Man is a good man. Peter replied, his voice filled with pain, that Spider-Man was born when I turned away from something bad, and Uncle Ben died as a result. The Spider-Man died with her. I'm sorry, Aunt May. I can't look away again. Not now. With no other options, Peter decides to use his black suit and go after the kingpin, ignoring May's pleas for him to stop. Recognizing his value, the FBI arranged for Iron Man to protect the Kingpin. Iron Man is tasked with stopping an unregistered hero from killing the Kingpin. Peter arrives at Rikers Island Prison where Iron Man and S.H.I.E.L.D. are eagerly awaiting his arrival. Spider-Man is determined to go after Fisk, but Iron Man stands in his way. A heated confrontation ensues between them. Spider-Man reveals that Fisk is responsible for Mary Jane's death, which gets Iron Man's attention. Seizing the opportunity, Spider-Man swiftly lands a powerful blow, sending Iron Man crashing to the ground, shattering his helmet in the process. Spider-Man then begins fighting the remaining S.H.I.E.L.D. agents desperate to escape. They attempt to take Fisk away in a car. However, Spider-Man quickly uses his webs to attach them to the car. With a quick leap over the agents, he snatches Fisk with his web and declares, Fisk, you are a dead man. Amidst the chaos, Kingpin chuckles and taunts Spider-Man asking, How hard did your wife die? Unfazed, Spider-Man fires back with a quick retort, Keep laughing, fat boy. Suddenly, Iron Man swoops in and launches an attack on Spider-Man, attempting to delay him by collapsing a building on him. Iron Man confronts Fisk about Mary Jane's death. Fisk denies any wrongdoing and argues that Mary Jane should be held accountable for aiding a known menace to society. Iron Man says, She was my friend. Kingpin replies, Well, my sympathies then, but surely a man with your wealth can always find friends. Despite his anger, Iron Man refrains from striking Fisk and allows the police to take him into custody. Spider-Man manages to escape the rubble of the collapsed building and resumes his pursuit of Fisk. Iron Man once again denies Spider-Man the chance at revenge against Fisk. Once again, they find themselves in a heated battle. Spider-Man's lightning-fast speed leaves Iron Man struggling to keep up. Spider-Man remarks, I haven't cut loose like this in a long, long time. He uses his web on Iron Man's arc reactor. He deactivates his armor by exploiting a design flaw he found in his own spider armor, knocking Iron Man out. Spider-Man swings over to Newark Airport, ready to confront Fisk. As he approaches, Fisk smugly reveals that the police officers assigned to him are on his payroll. Spider-Man punches Fisk to the ground. However, the Kingpin remains confident, believing that Spider-Man lacks the guts to kill him. He thinks Spider-Man is all emotional, which will fade away quickly, unlike himself who is cold and calculated. Kingpin brings out Aunt May. He gives him a choice. Either allow him to beat him to death, or the cops will kill Aunt May. However, instead of playing by Kingpin's rules, Spider-Man takes matters into his own hands. He delivers a single, powerful punch that ends Fisk's life. Spider-Man knew that Fisk would kill May because she was a witness to his crimes. He then webs the cops to the wall. Aunt May says to Peter, Get away from me. You're not the boy I raised. I don't care who it was. You purposely took another human's life. Do you think Mary Jane would have wanted that? Peter says, under the circumstances, yeah, I think she would have. But I didn't do it for her. When it came down to you or him, there was no way I'd let it be you, whatever the cost. Iron Man and other police officers show up to arrest Peter. He willingly surrenders to the police, not Iron Man. 
He tells Iron Man that he wants a fair trial and hopes for a jury that will understand, but he's prepared to face the consequences for his actions. As Peter is being taken away, he says to Iron Man that the worst choice he made was listening to him. He adds that if he had known what he was doing, he never would have married her. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.